Hi, my name is Terry Wilson from Wilson Architectural Building Designs. Today I'm going to talk to you about the difference between a hip-ended roof and a gable-ended roof. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll know the difference. So if you imagine you've got a semi-detached property, that's two properties joined together, you look at the front of the property and you'll see a horizontal line at the very top of the roof and two pitches at the side. Well, the two pitches at the side are called hip ends, so it's a hip-ended roof. Now, a gable-ended roof is when one of these roofs have been straightened up and became vertical. And the reason that you would change, say, a hip-ended roof to a gable-ended roof is so you could have a loft dormer conversion. So, in most cases, to have a loft uh, conversion, you would need to change the hip to a gable. That was the only reason that you would really uh, change the hip to a gable. So looking from the side of the property, if you see someone that's had a loft conversion, the side of the property you will see a V, and then you'll see on the other side, which would usually be the rear of the property, will be the rear dormer. So they've had a loft conversion with a hip to gable uh, roof alteration. So that is the difference between a hipped roof and a gable ended roof. One of them is pitched and one of them is straight. Thanks very much for watching my videos. My name is Terry Wilson from Wilson Architectural Building Designs. If you found this video interesting, please like and subscribe below. Or if you need any help or support, please don't hesitate to get in contact with me. Good luck.